protect their life and property. I mean, do you see this as a deterrent for those who run this business successfully? Well, let, let me put it this way. These, uh, these two uh, people who did that, it only happened to be tea. It could have been anything. It, it could have been running a business like here. So those people were, uh, I don't know why, something in their head. They're just a thing that they were the kings. And they treated people who had not done anything. And uh, as a result, they could not take it you know, sort of anymore. It, uh, it had happened before, I'll tell you, uh, when the, um, the tea gardens, etc., were run by uh, English people. English people. They also, some of those people, white people, did that. And exactly in the same way, six or eight people like that were killed. By, because they were very ill-treated. You were talking about the time of the British. When yeah, you that's said what that I mean. That was in the British. Right. Now, this part of it has now come to India. And do I understand correctly that you are, what you are saying is yeah. that there is a certain degree of cruelty to yeah. the people, to the labor class, which actually gets reflected in this kind of venom against uh, yeah. the tea planters. So are we, are we also saying that justice is not being done to the labor class, to the tea labor class in the yes, state of Assam? Certainly, I, I could say that. Uh, what business they had to do that to those boys? And they're poor people. And they've been ill-treated, very badly ill-treated. And maybe they were drinking and poor people and just killed them. And they, they called for it, actually. They asked for it, in my opinion. Because of the cruelty that they were inflicting on the yeah. labor class. So you think that the allegations that the tea uh, workers have been making against uh, the tea planter who has been killed uh, were actually correct? Yeah. There can be other people also doing that. Now, in this particular case, it was a matter of the tea, tea garden owners. Right. But it can be running a some other business also. Yes. Where you see that you are interpreting it, it's saying that it could happen in any other business as well. Where the employers yes, yes, are yes, ill-treating the, mm. uh, their workers or yes, their employees. Yes, yes. So it could get reflected in this kind of venom against mm. them. Uh, sir, during your time you said that you know... Now I give you another example. You know, there was a, you must have heard about a thing called Alpha in mm. India. But they were killing people just for nothing. Just they wanted money. And if they said a little bit thing, kill three people, two people. And in Jorhat, in the place, these boys did that, that one man has to kill a man every day. We are talking about the year? Hmm? Which year are we talking about? 15 years, 18 years. 15 years ago. Yeah where uh, Ulfa wanted that ev every day one it, life must uh, be taken. Yeah, they thought they, they, it is their job to kill a lot of people, they were, but at least one person, certainly minimum one person every day. Which is the reason why you moved out of Assam and you based yourself in yes, the state I, of Western Yes, I, I got out, not so much for uh, the fear of being killed, but what happened that our boys could not work there. Right. It could not work. So um, I came to Calcutta. I took, took them also back to Calcutta. Right. Yeah. But you didn't close down your tea gardens. You continued with your tea gardens, didn't you? Um, as a matter of fact, all tea gardens were running. There are few people died probably accidentally or incidentally. But it's amazing that not a single tea garden had stopped working. Despite the... Ulfa despite said, everything, despite yeah. the terror yeah. by the Ulfa. Uh, the, uh, the reason is that all the la laborers, workers, thousands of them, they were uh, sort of there to stop doing uh, by these uh, Alphas. Alphas could not go to the tea gardens. They kill other people, yeah. Mm -hmm. But during the days of uh, terror by the Ulfa, when you moved away and you based yourself in Calcutta, I'm also told that you know you issued a, a kind of uh, informal, you know, slogan to all the tea companies, asking them not to pay protection money to the Ulfa. Is that right? 
Well, it is uh, right or not right, I'll tell you. When this Alpha